So you're sick, you feel a little weak, and something like the cold or the flu coming on. Now I want you to picture yourself tossing on a pair of wet socks before bed and feeling up to 80% better in the morning. Ready for the best part, Mama? This trick is incredible for you, your whole family, including your children. Curious about this hydrotherapy regimen? Well then stay tuned because we're gonna get into exactly that in today's video. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Jessica and here on my channel, we focus on all things mom life. However, everything we cover here in my space does have a bit of a healthy twist as I studied holistic nutrition. So if that sounds like something you might be interested in, I would love it so much if you would consider joining our family and you can do that by hitting the subscribe button right here down below. All right, let's get into some wet sock therapy. Now, I know this modality is incredibly old school, but I swear to you that it works. Whenever I first feel a cold coming on, I immediately amp up my vitamin protocol based on my symptoms and I stick to bone broth, plenty of water, and before climbing into bed, I make sure to do this wet sock treatment. You might be thinking wet socks, but that doesn't sound comfortable at all. But wait, I promise you, it's not as bad as you think. And more than anything, it's extremely effective. All you need are two pairs of socks to make this effective. You need a pair of wool socks and you need a pair of cotton socks and additionally, of course, some water. However, if you're feeling up to it, I really encourage taking a bath before you start this entire practice. Then all you really need to do is let your body do the rest of the work. First, let me briefly explain why the wet socks help. So after putting on the socks, what you're gonna do is you're gonna climb into bed and then eventually drift off to sleep. So while dreaming sweet dreams, your feet will be doing all of the work. So the vessels in your feet are going to constrict as your feet cool down, which sends all of the good nutrients into your organs and your tissues. These nutrients are needed well to fight off infection and stimulate our body's natural healing system. Then our feet will start to warm up again and your vessels will then dilate to release the heat. This is when the junk in your tissue is completely dumped into your bloodstream so that your body can actually dispose of it. So this alternating of hot and cold creates a pumping mechanism that stimulates your circulation and your lymphatic system. The results actually activate our immune system and decrease our overall congestion and any of that yucky, gunky feeling that you may be feeling. In addition to that, by the morning, the socks will be completely dry. I know this sounds crazy, but stick with me. So now let's get into the actual step-by-step -step instructions. So the first thing we wanna do is just before bed, put your feet into hot, hot water for around three minutes or better yet, as I mentioned earlier, if you're feeling up to it, take a relaxing mineral bath. But I know when you're extremely sick, sometimes that's the last thing you wanna do. So if you're not up to that, then just fill up the bathtub with hot running water. The water should be really as hot as you can handle it without burning your skin. Then the second thing we wanna do is wet one pair of thin cotton socks in cold water, wringing it out as well as we can, and then putting it on immediately after that hot foot bath. However, it is important, and I know this seems strange, it is important to completely dry off your feet from the hot water before putting on the cold water socks. And again, the water on the socks should be the opposite. It should be as cold as you can handle it. Remember, your feet are gonna be very, very warm from the hot bath so the cold is actually gonna feel really good at this point. Then what we wanna do next is we wanna put on one pair of very thick, heavy wool socks over your cotton socks. And at that point, all you really need to do is to jump into bed, cover well, sleep all night with the socks on, and simply just do not remove them until they're dry. As an aside, there's definitely some other things that we can do to help aid our body after we've done the wet sock therapy. And you wanna do a few things like stay away from dairy and sugar, drink plenty of fluids, mostly water. Then the next step is, well, to sit back, relax, and notice how quickly you feel better after completing the wet sock therapy. So now I wanna hear from you. Have you ever tried the warming sock therapy? If you have, please let me know in the comment section down below. I would love to hear your success stories. And if you haven't tried this therapy, I would love to hear that in the comment section down below. Let me know if the next time you're sick, you're excited well to throw on some wet, cold socks and see how it can help. Thank you again for watching. Please give this video a big thumbs up and then make sure to hit that big subscribe button. It's right over here now. That way you don't miss a single video and I hope to see you back here next 
Thursday.